Okay, what's the scenario? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Get ready! You are standing, standing in the middle, in of, a the middle of a demolition derby. derby. How will you escape? Damn, the music's ramping up! Oh yeah, you got 10 seconds. I'm just trying to write a story. Tyler tries to... Hijack one of the vehicles and run them off oh the course. Oh my god. They jumped up and grabbed the door handle, but it was locked. Oh no. They smashed the window and climbed inside as they started the engine. The driver of the truck has seasoned demolition to Slammed into the new ride. Oh no. Good greeting off track. Oh <laughs> god, into the stands? <laughs> Chaos was immediate with screaming fans and debris flying everywhere. <laughs> Tyler's last thought of the crushing of the truck tires as it came to a stop spinning them beneath its metal bolt. Tyler did not survive. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that fucked up. I they wrote a lot for you. I know. Okay, let's see what Dylan uh, what I have my force field pants on, on leaving me completely leaving me. indestructible. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Dylan confidently puts on their force field pants, feeling invincible as the demolition derby cars slam into each other all around them. The force field pants successfully protect Dylan from the impact of the cars, allowing them to maneuver through the chaos unscathed. Just as Dylan is about to make their escape, a rogue driver suddenly crashes into them from the side, causing the force field pants to malfunction. Oh no! Oh Leaving god, Dylan he's dying. Vulnerable to the oh, crashing no. wa crushing wave of cars. Despite their best efforts, Dylan is unable to withstand the onslaught of collisions <laughs> and is ultimately crushed by the relentless Damn. force of the Damn. demolition derby. You are winning shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay, what, what did Tufty do? Grab onto the wheel and use the momentum to sonic roll out of the <laughs> ring. <laughs> Grabbing onto a wheel of a nearby car, using the to prepare himself forward and Sonic roll out of the demolition derby ring. As they execute the risky maneuver, dodging multiple cars and debris flying around them, they manage to make it to the edge of the ring. Uh, just the edge? In a split second, <laughs> they launch themselves out of the ring, narrowly avoiding getting hit by another car. Oh damn, did you live? With a jolt of adrenaline, they land on the ground outside the ring, panting, but alive. Let's damn, go! Okay. Damn. All you have to do is be Sonic. I guess so. I guess. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's good. That's cool. Uh, you could write one in if you want. So how how uh, unhinged can you be? I think you could just be as unhinged as you want. I've got one that's super fucked up <laughs> that I kind of want to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god. How do you survive? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. How oh, can I get out of this situation? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Is our fate sealed? I think it is. It is sealed. <laughs> I didn't have time to think. God, okay. I, I try to explain that it's all a misunderstanding, and I fully respect their massive erect cock. Luckily, they accept that I'm not into them. Oh my god. <laughs> this dude's getting raped. <laughs> Dylan's attempt to downplay the situation and fuck oh, the worse. <laughs> person physical <laughs> attributes only made things worse the person feeling disrespected and humiliated became became enraged oh, and attacked God. dylan Beautiful. despite their initial claims of respect dylan's words were laced with a condescending tone that further infuriated the person oh, in no. a fit of rage the person grabbed a nearby object and struck dylan with it causing severe head trauma <laughs> Oh, no. As Dylan lay on the ground, they realized too late that their attempt to explain the situation had only led to their own downfall. Damn. <laughs> I ain't living any of these. <laughs> Take, oh my Take a God. robotic <laughs> penis into the ceiling fan, <laughs> flying around the room like a tornado. That shit might just work. Uh oh. <laughs> Misguided oh, no. move! What do you mean? <laughs> Damn. What? 
How does that happen? <laughs> Jamie. It's caught off guard and oh, struggling shoot. to maintain oh, her. Oh, you might her. Have a chance. Wait, why did they? Why did they gender a transgender person? Cancelled. It was battered by the fans' blades. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn! Wait, what? Inhumane actions. You are it's faced the some... consequences of your brutal actions. It's so pretty much do so me? bad That's and killed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Shits his pants <laughs> and jumps out the window. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> After Tyler shit his pants in a shot, <laughs> and the girl he took home as a transgender with a robotic penis, they frantically tried to escape by jumping out the window. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fall from the second floor proves to be fatal as they land awkwardly, breaking their neck upon impact. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> the, sh the, the shock and physical injuries combined lead to their demise. Damn. Nobody's making it out of this one. Alright, I got this. I got this. Oh, I almost ran out of time. <laughs> Okay. This I'm definitely time I got none it. of this one. Yeah, same. <laughs> Dylan. What did you try to do? Okay. As, As I, I am upside, upside down. down <laughs> upside. Yeah, upside down. I managed to convince one of them that the other guy would be tastier, and as they're getting eaten, I escape. <laughs> That's. <laughs> As Dylan finds himself tied upside down and facing a group of crazy cannibals, their quick thinking and silver tongue came to the rescue. <laughs> okay. They managed to convince one of the cannibals that the other guy would be a tastier me meal, <laughs> resulting in a chaotic frenzy as the cannibals turn on each other. <laughs> what the fuck? In the midst of the chaos, Dylan seizes the opportunity to escape and run off into the darkness, leaving behind the cannibals to feast on each other. In the end, Dylan's clever think trickery... And quick wit save them from becoming dinner. No Let's way. Go. They just convinced themselves <laughs> that the other sweaty dude was better. I right, read this. <laughs> look at look the, at the oh, eldest clan member and start rain dancing, <laughs> causing a landslide. I then ride the landslide like a surfer dude. Cool. Cool. fierce reaction. Instead, Instead the cannibal's expression really remained stoic. stoic, and they began to chant in unison with their kin. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Daffy unturned, started their rain dance, waving their arms wildly and stomping their feet. The ground began to shake, and a landslide tumbled down the nearby oh, no. mountain, sending rocks <laughs> and debris crashing into the clearing. Daffy caught off guard, was swept off in the chaos and rode a landslide like a surfer dude, laughing and whooping with excitement. Oh, well, maybe. However, as the slide came to stop, then they found themselves at the edge of a deep chasm with no way to climb up. Oh, no way. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Now a rage disturbance to charge toward them. <laughs> oh, he was no. unable to escape. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. That's fine. Tyler tries to. Convinces them he is infected with a zombie this. virus and his meat is tainted in hopes that they let him go. The Bob attempt? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of doing that. Tyler's desperate attempt to convince the cannibals that he was infected with a zombie virus fell flat. <laughs> God damn it! Like <laughs> <laughs> The group of crazy individuals simply laughed at his proposal, their eyes gleaming with excitement at the prospect of sinking their teeth into his tender flesh. And they dragged him towards the cooking pot. Their crude knives are at the ready. As Tyler struggled against his restraints, he realized that his plan had been a futile attempt to delay the inevitable. With a cruel smile, the leader of the group raised his knife ready to deliver the final blow, and Tyler's screams were drowned out by the sound of sizzling meat. <laughs> Damn! Damn, this fucking murdered <laughs> you, man. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, time to be cancelled. Oh no. Oh man, transgender with that robotic penis is pretty cancel worthy. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> You're ready. Uh, you find yourself in the mid 1800s black man alley. <laughs> oh, I'm a history buff. 
Do you mean the south, Dylan? No, how will you oh, escape to the north? To the no, north? no, no, escape to the north, okay. Ah, shit. They're gonna say I'm fucking stupid, and I'm just gonna die. All right. Oh, it's not me this time. All right. As, As a, a black, black man, man I get it. <laughs> I have a clipped with a 13 foot horse cock. I used that as a propeller flying me to the north. Later become a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> As Stephanie took to the skies, their 13 foot horse cock propellers sputtering and coughing as it struggled to generate lit. <laughs> The rusty contraption let out a pathetic <laughs> whine and scraped against the air. Oh my god. Failing to generate enough thrust to carry Thefty northward. <laughs> the rusty metal screamed and protest as it scraped against the ground, sending shrapnel flying in all directions. A group of white <laughs> vigilants alerted by the commotion stormed onto the <laughs> torches and pitchforks at the oh, ready. No. <laughs> Who is the white vigilantes? Oh no. <laughs> As the propeller finally gave out, they pummeled to the ground, their skulls shattered oh, no. upon impact. <laughs> Fueled by racism and <laughs> hatred, <laughs> beat Stephanie's lifeless body to a pulp, leaving them lifeless. Wow. That was a little unhinged Damn. by him. <laughs> that was kind of. I said the KKK came and. Uh... How, was you, how did you dig get rusty? Is my question. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It don't make sense. <laughs> All right. Dylan tries to escape and run to a nearby airfield where I steal a hot air balloon from that distracted white man whipping his other slaves and fly north. Hell okay. Yeah. <laughs> As Dylan approached the airfield, they could, oh, okay. They could see the white man brutally, brutally whipping his slaves. <laughs> the distraction was all they needed to sneak onto the balloon and start the burner. However, the man soon noticed his prized possession was missing and gave chase. Oh, damn, does he have another one? Dylan hastily climbed into the balloon, but the man was too close and grabbed hold of the basket. In a desperate attempt to break free, Dylan struggled and managed to dislodge the man, but not before he was dragged along the ground, his back severely bruised and bleeding. As the balloon lifted off, Dylan's screams were drowned out by the roar of the burner and the man's lifeless body was left behind. A grim reminder of the brutal realities of slavery and the desperation of those seeking freedom. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. This bot lived for this moment. <laughs> Dude, right? He's thriving right now. What you got? Okay. Tyler tries to make a deal to fight for the Confederates and in return <laughs> gain my freedom. He just went with the true history. It's probably the only I one can't. that'll work. Tyler's decision to fight for the Confederates was met with a mix of curiosity and suspicion <laughs> by the rebel leaders. They saw an opportunity to use a black man's skills to further their cause, but were wary of their, his true loyalties. Despite their reservations, they agreed to Tyler's proposal, and he was tasked with leading a small group of rebels on a raid into Union territory. However, as they approached the enemy lines, Tyler saw the opportunity to turn the tables and make a break for freedom. But before he could act, he was supported by he was spotted by a Union patrol and cut down in the hail of gunfire. <laughs> his dreams of freedom and escape shattered. Well, Damn. Good thing we're not black in the 1800s. Dude, right? We gotta never survive. Okay, this one's gonna be a tough one. Okay, I think I'm gonna be. I think, yeah. Oh no, Thefty is. Ooh. I think you might start in the next game, possibly. Okay. I was about to say my next one's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a rough one. It's just generating data to get our IP addresses and see who's <laughs> yeah. <racist> who's not. <laughs> Here it comes. Get ready. Oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> a usually work day, but filled with only Karens and hungry big backs. A usual work day is what I meant to say. I want to see what the AI can generate out of this. I don't think it's really going to be I'm trying much. to survive one. I want to survive one, dude, I couldn't at come least. up with anything <laughs> good for that one. Dylan tries to... The day I decide it ain't worth it, and I quit, sneaking out back so no one sees me. <laughs> Dylan slipped out the back door, thinking they had finally escaped it. Oh, I'm fucked. 
But as they emerged into the bright sunlight, they were met with the hungry gaze of a pack of big bags. What the fuck is a big bag? <laughs> the air was uh -huh. thick with the scent of aggression and desperation. And desperation. The Karens, who had been yelling and screaming just moments before, had suddenly fallen silent. Their eyes fixed on Dylan with a malevolent intensity. M malevolent, yeah. As the big backs closed in, their growls growing louder, Dylan realized too late that quitting wasn't an option, and they were consumed by the pack. <laughs> their screams echoing. <laughs> what are big backs? <laughs> oh, shit, you don't know what a big back is? Not off the top of my head, no. It's a, it's a fat person. Mmm. Thefty tries to call in sick, saying your tummy was hurting, then go then then be big back yourself. <laughs> tries to fit in. As Thiefy called in sick. What? I what got the... your name wrong. What the fuck? As as Thiefy called in sick, claiming your tummy was hurting. <laughs> the Karen's and hungry big backs in the office looked at them with a mix of skepticism and amusement. Little did Leo, Thefty had been secretly eating a questionable tuna sandwich for lunch and was now paying the price. Oh, no. As they hung up the phone, a loud rumbling sound echoed through the beefy <laughs> stomach. Man, what what is is oh my man. god. The Karens and Big Backs were already annoyed, were now appalled and frightened by the scenes unfolding before them. Thiefy realized the gravity of the situation, tried to flee, but quickly Khan dragged back to their desk. Oh my god, they were promptly devoured by the hungry big backs. Their screams of terror and pain drowned out by the sound of crunching bones and slurping fluids. Ew. That's awful. <laughs> All because they ate a bad tuna sandwich? Yeah, you should have said that you were faking it. Tyler tries to spit in everyone's food and get fired and <laughs> told <to> leave. <laughs> Tyler's plan to get fired by spitting in everyone's food didn't quite go as expected. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> as they began to tamper with the lunch orders, they usually <laughs> the usually docile office workers transformed into a swarm of enraged zombies. Oh, what? <laughs> The first to notice them was Karen from HR, who screamed loudly and chased Tyler around the office, brandishing a stapler. Oh my god. Damn. The hungry back, a giant of a man named Boris, simply growled and lumbered after Tyler, his stomach growling with anticipation. Tyler tried to outrun them, but it was no use. They were quickly surrounded and overwhelmed. In the ensuing chaos, Tyler was tackled to the ground and pummeled by the mob. Their cries for help ignored as they were mercilessly beaten to death. God damn, Jesus. big backs are ruthless, man. Oh yeah, my god. Good. Let's go. I didn't try any. What the fuck? <laughs> um, I think we just wait. It'll start. Maybe.